It is a privilege today to be joined on the summit by Anthony Brown from the Mid American Nazarene Pioneers. The Pioneers, fifteen and four now on the year, and on a bit of a roll, and and that comes with a big win on Monday night as well. Anthony, you guys got the victory at William Penn, and in that game, you had twenty eight points, six rebounds, six assists. Tell us a little bit about that victory. It was a big one. Well, to start it all off, it was a great team victory. We made history there for Mid America. We had never won in that gym before. So it was a really good feeling, especially for me and a couple of my other teammates who have been there with me for several years, not being able to win in that gym. It felt tremendous to be able to get a win in that gym. Um, and yeah, just we just went in there, executed the game plan that we had going into it, and we were able to come out with the win. Again, 28 points, six boards, six assists. That game and the previous game, you kind of flirted with the triple-double in both of those, both of them on the road. But you did more than just flirt with it. Last week, you got the triple-double in a victory. That one was at home, coming away with a 97-70 to 70 victory over Missouri Valley. And that one, 27 points, 11 boards, 10 assists. You had four steals on top of that, too. It's an incredible stat line. Talk a little bit about that. Well, um. I, I honestly don't think about triple doubles while I'm in the game. I'm just doing whatever I doing whatever I can to help my team win. You know, people call people call people like that Swiss Army knife. Um, I just try to do whatever I can to help the team win. Whatever my coach needs me to do, I'm just trying to go out there and do it so we can advance our season. I love that analogy, and uh, if, if that's what it takes, I'm sure you want to do whatever you can to, to get it done. I, I know numbers, uh, you don't want to think about them until it's all over with, but it's, it's pretty cool. And and besides that, it's just the fourth time that that's happened in Mid-American Nazarene history uh, in the last 15 years. So not not bad. Good numbers there, Anthony. Well, with that in mind, let's talk about the team now. I mentioned 15-4 and four right now, 13-2 and two in Hart Conference play. And since the calendar has turned, you guys have been on an incredible roll, undefeated in 2024. As a matter of fact, the women, the women's team as well, undefeated in 2024. You guys have won seven straight. It's a good time to be a fan, I'm sure, in Olathe right now. Talk a little bit about the way the team's playing. Um, I want to give just credit to our coaches for pushing us every day, making us be better, having us prepare for all our games, and then um, – I got to mention our starting our starting point guard now, Branson Van Dyke, who took over the role when our original point guard got hurt this season. Um, he stepped in and has not missed a beat. He's come in and played great. He's taking great care of the ball. He's getting that. He's structuring us, getting us through our plays, and he's come in and gave us great energy and great time. And I got to I got to give him credit. Um, and then the rest of our team is just trickled down to us. We we're coming in, we're locked in, especially on the defensive end. Um, for the women's team, Coach John Lewis, I kind of figured he was going to get them ready for this for this next semester. And it's really good to see them playing again to how uh, mid-American women's basketball teams usually look. So just credit to our coaches, credit to all of us who we've all come in playing hard in practice, playing hard in games. We're locked in. We're just trying to take care of business. It certainly looks like it, and, and the results have been on the court. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's tough to keep that up all the time, but props to you all for doing it, at least uh, here in 2024. Again, 15-4 and four is where we're talking with Anthony Brown on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please take the time to like this video and enjoy the videos here on the channel. You're a fifth-year player, and – started all but two games in in the entire five years that you've been there with the COVID year opportunity was there um was there any doubt that you were going to come back and and uh, make it go at it one more time when i heard that i was able to get an extra year and there was absolutely no doubt in my mind that i'll come back again um i absolutely love mid-america i'm so glad that i decided to come here and so glad my old uh coach nate lonis recruiting me because I'd rather be nowhere else. Um, yeah, there, I knew right when I was able to come back that I would and spend another year with my, with my family here in Olathe and be able to spend another year in college with my, with my friends. 
and just take time, not not rush anything, not rushing to get into the real world, but taking time, being able to enjoy myself and have another year of college basketball. I, I stay there for just a little bit longer. You played your high school ball at Olathe North, and that uh, what what's it like then getting to play for people who I'm sure have seen you play more than just the five years there, but uh, I'm sure there are some fans that have seen you a few years beyond that. Yeah, uh, being a hometown kid, it's it's kind of amazing because I'm a homebody myself, but um, <laughs> it's really nice hearing uh, after people see me play in college and them saying how much I've improved, how much um, how much I've grown as a person, as a player, and then there's not there's nothing like playing in Olathe North, and I've heard all my life the best basketball players come out of Olathe North High School. Coach Nate Lannis always used to tell me that. But, um, yeah, home, love being a hometown kid. There's nothing like it. Well, you know, you're, you're putting up some results that, that definitely lend toward that idea that, that the best players are coming out. So, so that's fantastic. Props to you on that. Well, I, listen, again, 15-4, 13-2 in conference play, seven-game winning streak right now. I, everything is pushing now toward the postseason. You're not there yet. Still a lot more games to be played, and I know there's a, a lot more to be enjoyed in, in this season. But uh, you, you may have an opportunity to play – in the NAI tournament. The Pioneers made it last year. Uh, you've got the conference tournament ahead of you and then that possibility of the NAI tournament. What would it mean to, to play there in, in that part of the postseason again? It would mean everything. Um, one, of, one of my goals that I first made with Coach Rocky Lamar was to win the heart. And so right now we right now we've got our eyes set on Clark tomorrow, but one game at a time. and Hopefully we can reach our goal of winning, of winning a Heart of America Conference Championship. And then obviously the main goal is winning a national championship. But right now we got to focus on the teams that are ahead of us at one step at a time. So Coach Hep always says our, next, our biggest game is the next game. So we just got to focus on, on the next team right now. And as you mentioned, that's Clark that's going to be on Saturday. Anthony Brown. Uh, the Pioneers continuing to do well this season. Props to you all, and, and we're going to continue to follow you all the way through the rest of this 23-24 season. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate that. God bless you. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you.